this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine. Welcome back to another episode on weekly updates from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. As always, let's start with the new launches. Signal launches a face blurring tool. Law enforcement officials across the US have already revealed that they will leverage facial recognition technology to retroactively target protesters following the killing of George Floyd with police asking the public for footage and photos. Against this backdrop, Signal is introducing a new feature that can automatically blur faces shared within the encrypted messaging app as the company says it's working hard to keep up with the increased traffic from protesters. Coming to the next launch, DeepMind releases Acme, a framework to decrease complexities in AI workflows. The idea behind building the Acme framework was to decrease complexities in machine learning based solutions as well as help researchers and firms to scale effortlessly. With Acme, the researchers of DeepMind believe that the framework will mitigate the challenges of reproducibility and simplify the process for researchers to develop novel and creative algorithms. Coming to the next launch, Microsoft and BBC launch Beep Voice Assistant that can understand even the most difficult accents. The voice assistant called Beep is part of Microsoft's Windows Insider program and will initially be made available in the UK where participants will contribute with the improvement of the voice assistant ahead of a wider rollout. The software was deployed during the growing tensions around how tech companies are commercializing user data through voice assistants and other digital platforms. Coming to some news about COVID-19, France releases a voluntary contact tracking app called Stop COVID. Like most contact tracing apps, Stop COVID relies on Bluetooth low energy to build a comprehensive list of other app users you've interacted with for more than a few minutes. If you're using the app, it collects the IDs of other app users around you. The implementation then differs from here. If you're using Stop COVID and you're diagnosed COVID-19 positive, your doctor, hospital or testing facility will hand you a QR code or a string of letters and numbers. You can choose to open the app and enter that code to share the list of IDs of people you've interacted with over the past 2 weeks. On the same lines, our crowd launches 100 million dollars pandemic innovation fund. Our crowd's pandemic innovation fund will focus on the following investment sectors: prevention and containment such as vaccines, testing, treatment and healing such as therapeutics, diagnostics, continuity and disruption mitigation. such as remote working distance learning etc in some other news a new java based ransomware targets windows and linux servers the researcher said it was the first time they've seen a ransomware module compiled into a java image file format or jimg these files contain all the components needed for the code to run a bit like a java application but are rarely scanned by anti malware engines and can go largely undetected coming to the last news Google faces 5 billion dollars lawsuit for tracking users in incognito mode. The lawsuit was filed accusing Google of collecting information about what people view online and where they browse despite their using what Google calls incognito mode. According to the complaint filed in the federal court, Google gathers data through Google Analytics, Google Ad Manager and other applications and website plugins including smartphone apps regardless of whether users click on google supported ads with that we come to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to analytics india magazine and follow this segment for everything in the world of data science see you soon bye